In this video, I want to cover the basic concepts of creating a report in the FileMaker platform. Now, people ask me all the time, well, if I collect all this data, how hard is it to create reports? Well, in the FileMaker platform, it's one of the easier things to do. Now, before you create a report, you need to probably take out a pencil, paper. We need to scribble down what you want to see on the report. Of course, when I first ask people this, they will say something like, well, I want to see all the people who owe me money, for example. And that might be a very valuable report, but we need a little bit more detail if we're the ones who are going to do the work, or maybe we're going to have one of our employees or staff or outsiders do the report for us. So we need to scribble down a couple details, maybe do a little bit of planning. So on our planning, first we want to identify the fields or the kinds of records that we want to have on the report. So if people owe us money, then these would be invoices that are not paid. So we want to go to an invoice screen, maybe even an invoice list view, and decide that maybe this is some of the data we want. Then you're going to want to identify the found set of data. In other videos, we talk about context. What is the context of your database? What layout are you on? What's your found set? What's your sort condition? Or how do you want it sorted? These all establish the context. Well, when you're going to design a report or build a report, you need to kind of have that context in mind. So the location or the layout where we're going to start. So we want an invoices, say, screen, for example, maybe a list view. And then the found set would be, let's just say, for a specific month, right? So let's just say for December of 2018, who has not paid their invoices? So that's our found set. And then we might want to sort by the dollar amount, or you might want to sort by the location, maybe people in different areas, in different territories. If you have a sales team or different accounting staff that manage different geographical areas, you could break it down by that. But you'll need some way of sorting it, maybe just by the date. But most businesses I know would probably go after the people that owe them the most money first, and then backwards down the list of people who owe them less money. So let's jump over to FileMaker and give this a try. So I've gone ahead and opened a copy of FM Starting Point. And the reason is, is that instead of creating a database from scratch and then creating the reporting, just for the sake of understanding the report generation, let's start with some data that we already have. So this is our pre-built CRM. This is one where some data has been loaded into it already. So I'm going to go ahead and press the invoices button and it brings up our invoices. And once again, this is kind of a test uh, version that we've been playing with. And what I want to do is uh, point out that we have 1.1 million records in here. So the first thing we did establish is that we want to see invoices that are past due. So how do we do that? Well, it would be this indicator right here that it's active and it has not been paid. So what we want to do is we want to do a fine. So I'm going to enter fine mode. I'm going to say status is active. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so we can see this. Uh, well, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to say invoice date is 12. And then I'm going to put an asterisk or a star right here. This is a wild card search, which means any day in December, if you're in Europe and you're using a European database that's set up with European dates, then the asterisk would be on the front, then 12 would be in the middle, right? So depending upon your date formatting, you're going to move the asterisk around. So I'm going to go ahead and press the return key, and I'm going to get 371,000 invoices. Now, this is sample data, but that's a lot of records that are past due. And so I'm going to go ahead and say view. I'm going to say actual size. I'm going to go to the list view. And so automatically we have a list here of the items that are owed to us. And so we already had a list view and a list view is kind of a report, if that makes sense. Problem is, is that really report would be something that you would print. So what we should think about doing is going to layout mode. I'm going to say edit layout. I'm going to say uh, create a new layout. Now I'm going to say a new layout for computer. I'm going to call it past do report. So for a basic report, just to play with things, I could specify list. This report over here will want to start putting totals and things on the report. I can do any one of these would be useful, but at a most basic level, let's just say we want a list. Okay. So we have a list right here. We have a header, we have a footer and the body part. And all we have to do is drag on the fields that we want to see on the report. Now over here on the left are a list of the fields that are part of the invoicing table. We could drag that over here, for example. And uh, I would put the label, of course, up top and resize that a little bit. And of course, I can set the justification on that to the left. And so you could adjust the formatting of these. Obviously, I can bring this down a little bit. If I press browse mode real quick, 
Um, I'm going to go use my keyboard shortcuts, Command or Control B, or I can say View Browse Mode right here. So I'm going to use a shortcut going forward. Then you can see that we're getting the data here, 371,000 records, and this is the list of people's email addresses. And so if we want the contact name, we can put that over here. Total amount due is a number field. We could put that right here as well. I could put the uh, label up above if we wanted to. Once again, you can adjust the formatting of this, etc. And so if I go back to browse mode, right, then we have uh, a number field there, and all that is is money, but without the currency on it. I'm going to turn on the uh, formatting here. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to say right justify it. And so it's now right justified. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the data tab. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to say formatting as currency. And this is where you would adjust the currency to be pounds or euros or you know yens or whatever you want to use. And of course, you can specify decimals if you want. Display uh, comma separators would be appropriate for us. Uh, make it a little bit larger. And then go back to browse mode and you can see it starts to look like a report. Now, this is the very basic elements of building a report. And then you could also have a sort order. If we wanted to sort this, we could click over here and I can say sort descending. So in summary, we manually created a report and the context is the layout that we're on. We created a layout that's kind of specific to this. We have a found set of records that we just created and then we have a sort order. Now, to reproduce this report, the easiest thing to do is to create a script. So if I go to script workspace right here, right? And this is the really important part of being able to preserve and reproduce a report. I'm going to say create a new script up here at the top. And I'm going to say past due report. And for the moment, I'm just going to call it December of 2018. Now, this is our very first report. If this is a brand new developer, this would be something I might do. However, you should probably design a report where you can dynamically select which month you would want, right? Makes sense. But in this case, I'm just going to keep it super simple so we understand what's happening. I'm going to say, first thing is that we should go to the layout. So what we do is we're going to write about three or four lines of code. We're going to say, go to layout. What layout do we want to go to? We want to go to the layout that we created at the very bottom of this CRM called Pass Due Report. How did I know to go all the way to the bottom? Well, whenever you create a new layout, it always sticks it at the bottom. So you can go to the very bottom and find the report we just created. Eventually, we'll probably organize it up here somewhere. But for now, it's down at the bottom. So that's where it's going to go. The next line that we need to do is we need to restrict the found set. So we say perform find, right? And I can say restore the find request that we just made. And if you look in here, we can see where we basically hard coded it. We said the status is active and the invoice date is here. Now, you could also have that be a field, like a global field or it could be set up in a message where you have a dialogue and it pops up and you could select it. You could probably do this a dozen different ways, but I just hard-coded December in here for the moment. And so what we have is that this will go to the layout, this performs a find. The last thing we wanna do is perform a sort command, and I'll say sort records, and the dialogue says it'll come on with the dialogue. We don't need the dialogue in the future, we just want to press the button and have this work. We're going to click the gear icon. We say specify sort order, and it automatically is building the sort order that we had. And so uh, we say OK, and that's it. So this is a script that we have. So going forward, I'm going to save this. I'm going to go ahead and close this script. I'm going to, it's down here, it's checked off. So it'll appear at the top under scripts. And I'm going to go ahead and go over to say I'm on the home screen and I say, I want a report. Show me the report that gives me my past due invoices for December. I'm going to go to scripts. I simply run the report and this will run the report for us. And instantly there it is. So this is not the most pretty demo you've ever seen, but that shows us the basic processes of planning the report, then going to your FileMaker application and going to the layout and identifying that that's the data you probably want. Then you duplicate the layout, you create the layout in a list view, at least initially that you want. And then from there, you're going to want to impose some sort of found set and a sort order. And then once you have that and you like the way it looks and you want a script that will reproduce it for you. Those are the basic elements of creating reports. Now, 
Reports can have totals on them, or it can have what we call sectional totals, or FileMaker calls them subsummaries, but it's a summary of a section as it goes down the screen. So those are all cool things we're going to cover in other videos in our training course, but FileMaker is a great reporting tool. Basic reports are created very rapidly. Some people want to create extraordinarily complex reports, and something like that might take you all day to create maybe a couple days to create, but then once it's done, you still create the script, which preserves the work. So therefore, all you have to do in the future is run the script. Really awesome.